Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I'm here with the part 3 of the model question paper of class 8. So before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here the next question is given as verify associative property for addition of rational numbers 3 by 2, 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. So here the rational numbers have been given using this numbers only we have to verify associative property holds here or no. Okay, so we all know the associative property rule that is a plus b plus c and is equals to a plus b plus c only the changes is in the first case the brackets will be for a plus b and in the second case the brackets will be for b and c. Now this is our a, b and c. So I have written all this okay according to associative property first will be the brackets for here and the next the brackets will be for this numbers okay. So now what I have done is I have cross multiplied 3 into 3 okay as you can see cross multiplied here 3 3 is a plus as it is and this is again cross multiplied 2 into 2 divided by 3 2 is a or 2 3 is a it will be 6 plus 1 by 2 is as it is. Similarly here 3 by 2 is as it is plus again cross multiplied okay. So 2 2 is a 4 okay 2 2 is a plus 3 3 3 1 is a 3 divided by 3 2 is a 6. Now again 3 3 is a 9 plus 2 2 is a 4 divided by 6 plus 1 by 2. This 3 by 2 is as it is plus 2 2 is a 4 plus 3 1 is a 3 divided by 6. Then I got 9 plus 4 is 13 divided by 6 plus 1 by 2 as it is which is equals to 3 by 2 plus 4 plus 3 is 7 by 6. Okay. Then again you need to cross multiply here 13 2 is a 26 plus 6 1 is a 6 divided by 6 2 is a 12 which is equals to again cross multiplied 6 3 is a 18 plus 7 2 is a 14 divided by 6 2 is a or 2 6 is a 12. Then I have added this 26 plus 6 is nothing but 32 divided by 12 which is equals to 18 plus 14 is also 32 divided by 12. So as you can see both are equal we can write associative property is verified. So here the associative property is verified. Next uh, our question was given here if a person calculates compound interest on rupees 10,000 for 2 years ok so here they have given the principal amount which is equals to 10,000 rupees for 2 years and at the rate of 10% per annum then find the compound interest ok so I have written P principal is equals to rupees 10,000 and time that is N N will be equals to 2 years and R which is equals to 10% so according to the formula of amount ok so for, to find the compound interest we need amount minus minus principal if we do amount minus principal we are going to get compound interest so for that first we need to find out the amount so amount uh, formula is a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n okay so p is i forgot to write here so i have written it here outside okay no problem same it is so 1 as it is 1 plus r value is 10 divided by 100 and whole to the power n is nothing but this two years okay into principal instead of writing this side i have taken it this side okay so it is multiplied by 10000 so this is as you can see here this zero and this zero is cancelled okay what is remaining 1 by 10 is remaining so 1 by 10 whole square into 10000 okay so again here cross multiplication 10 ones are 10 plus 1 divided by this 10 as it is whole square into 10,000. So 10 plus 1 is 11 by 10 and as they have given here square we can take it 2 times okay 2 times into 10 into 10,000 okay. So what I have done here is I have multiplied 11 into 11 we are getting 121 divided by 10 tens are 100 into 10,000. So this 2 zeros and 2 zeros is cancelled 121 into 100 we are getting 12,100 rupees we are getting okay so now what we have to do to find the compound interest a minus p we have to do so a we got 12,100 rupees minus 10,000 rupees so what we are left with 2,100 rupees okay so this is the solution for 26th one both the questions okay so next you can see 27th question color Favorite colors of different people is given. Draw a pie chart. Okay, so we have to draw the pie chart regarding this given data. So colors have been given blue, green, red, and yellow, and total is been given. So number of people, how many like uh, how many likes blue color is 18, green color is 9, and red color 6, and yellow color is 3 of them. So the total is 36 persons. Okay, so we have to find out this data before drawing the pie chart so for blue color what we need to do 18 persons out of how many persons 36 person and it should be multiplied by 360 degree why it should be multiplied by 360 degree because pie chart means it is consisting of circle which is having 360 degrees so to draw the pie chart you have to take the degree measurement and you have to 
draw okay so now as you can see 36 ones are 36 ones are and the zero will be as it is 18 tens are 180 similarly again here 36 ones are 36 tens are okay so 9 tens are 90 green color uh, sorry red color is having 6 6 by 36 into 360 again the same thing 36 ones are 36 tens are 6 tens are 60 again here 3 yellow is having 3 color uh, 3 members okay 3 persons so again the same thing 36 ones are and here 36 tens are so 3 tens are 30 they have got okay so in the first case we got 180 degrees so i have taken the below okay you all know that 160 degree means exactly half okay 180 degree sorry 180 degree is nothing but exactly half so we can show this is 180 degree second one is 90 degree 90 degree will be always a straight line okay so this one is nothing but 90 degree so this is 90 degree and this part is 60 degree as well as this part is 30 degree okay so this 180 is for blue color 90 is for green color 30 is for yellow color as you can see 30 is for yellow color and 60 is for red color okay so here one more or question is given you can see the mark scored by 40 students in mathematics is as follows draw a histogram for the given data so you can see the class intervals has been given 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 and according to that particular interval they have given us the numbers here 7 9 8 10 and 6 so let us take a graph sheet and start drawing the uh, histogram okay so i have done a ready graph sheet over here so you can see this is nothing but the x-axis and this is nothing but the y-axis so on x-axis we are going to take the class interval and on y-axis we are going to take the f that is frequency so 0 to 10 they have given us 7 members okay 7 frequency is 7 students so 7 comes somewhere between here 6 to 8 okay so the midpoint we is nothing but 7 so let us mark this point from here to here and you need to draw this line okay okay so this is what so this is nothing but the histogram for 0 to 10 okay then 10 to 20 we are getting 9 so 9 comes between 8 and 10 so somewhere here the 9 will be somewhere here okay so we need to join this lines okay this line as well as this line okay then 20 to 30 comes at 8 so uh, here it will come 20 to 30 is at 8 and we need to join this line and 30 to 40 comes on 10 okay 30 to 40 as you can see from 30 to 40 it will be on 10 so we need to join this okay then 40 to 50 it will be on 6 40 to 50 it will be on 6 so this is at 6 so let me join all these lines and show you so as you can see the graph looks something like this okay so if you join this lines your uh, graph will be a histogram there should be no space in between this so this will be a histogram you need to write the value of scale here x-axis as you can see we have taken one one centimeter each so one centimeter is equals to 10 units because the difference here 10 minus 0 we are getting 10 20 minus 10 we are getting 10 30 minus 20 we are getting 10 so the difference is 10 units okay similarly on y-axis one centimeter only we have taken but 2 2 units we have taken as we have taken the 2 table here so it will be 2 units okay I hope this is cleared now let us move on to the last question of this model paper so question is age of A is more than 3 times B's age okay so we don't know what is the B age so we will take let age of B is equals to X years okay and they have already told us age of A is equals to 3 times B's age 3 times of X plus 5 more than 3 times means plus 5 5 more than 3 times of x so 3x plus 5 okay if the present age of a is 44 years so we came to know that age of a is equals to how much 44 years then we need to find the present age of b so we need to find the value of x here so 44 is equals to 3x plus 5 so if we take 5 to the side it will become minus 44 minus 5 is equals to 39 and this 3x will be as it is and if we keep x as it is and if we take 3 to the side it will become divide so 3 ones are 3 and 3 13s are 39 we are getting so x is equals to 13 years so age of b is nothing but 13 years similarly one more one more question or question is given here divide 44 into x to the power of 4 minus 5x cube minus 24x square by 11x into x minus 8 so we need to divide this whole term by this number okay so i have written the division terms okay so 44 can be written as 11 into 4 11 fours of 44 into i have taken x square outside from here if i take x square outside what will be remaining here 
to x okay x square one more x square will be remaining because x into x okay you can see here 2 plus 2 will be 4 okay then 5x 1x and x square will be x cube similarly here there is no x square because 2x square I have taken outside divided by 11 into x into x minus 8 okay so here you can see this 11 and this x as well as this 11 and this x okay the denominator terms will be cancelled so this 24 can be divided in this many steps so we know that 2 12s are 24, 3 8s are 24, 6 4s are 24, 4 6s are 24. We, all, we know all these things. But what we need here, if we multiply, okay, so if we add this number, okay, any of these two, if we add or subtract this number, we need to get the answer as 5. That is only possible in this case. If minus 8 and plus 3 if we do that is 8 3 is 24 we are getting if we multiply this we are getting 24 but if we add or subtract this we have to get 5 that is only possible in this case that is if it is minus 8 and 3 then only we are going to get 5x so instead of that 5x we need to write minus 8 plus 3x okay so that after cancellation or after subtraction addition we are going to get minus 5x okay so instead of this we have written again we need to uh, divide this x square minus 8x we need to take common out of this x i have taken common into x if i take 1x common out of this here what will be remaining 1x will be remaining minus 8 is remaining plus 3 is remaining here into x minus 8 okay because because here you can see 3 8s are 24 is given okay minus will be as it is again divided by x minus 8 so if we take common here as you can see both the side we are having 8 minus uh, x minus 8 and this will be x plus 3 so x minus 8 and x minus 8 is cancelled so what we are remaining with 4 into x into x plus 3 is rem uh, remaining okay so i hope everything is cleared out here so if there is any doubts in this part you can comment me down below don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll be back with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you